To create a gutter in Revit, we first need to go to the Architecture tab and then select on the arrow next to Roof. Then click on Roof Gutter. Underneath Properties on the Type Selector list, we'll see the name of a gutter which is currently loaded into our project. Let's go through the process of actually placing this gutter on the edge of the roof. First, zoom in towards your roof and then click the upper edge of the roof. You really don't want to place it on the lower edge of the roof because if you do, then the gutter will be hanging down, down below the bottom of your fascia board. So select right up here at the edge, and now we can see that the gutter has been placed in. And if we zoom in really tight and then come up here to the View tab and select on Thin Lines, we can see the shape that makes up the gutter. Where the shape comes from is what's called a profile shape. And if we go to Edit Type under Properties, we can see that the profile shape of the gutter is a gutter profile bevel 5 inch by 5 inch. Where it gets this information from, the general shape, we can find underneath Families in the project browser. So if we click on OK, scroll down, look for Profiles, expand out Profiles, we'll find the Gutter Profile Bevel. Click on that, right click, and then select Edit. This is the same shape that we were just looking at in the model. Actually, if we wanted to create a new shape that could be used for the gutter, all we would need to do is go to a profile family, draw in the shape we wanted the gutter to be, and then load that into the project. At that point, the gutter could have that new shape that you created. Let's go ahead and leave this shape the way that it is. So I'll just click the X in the corner of the view. We won't save any changes. And the next thing I want to do is place this gutter all the way around the perimeter of our roof. We do that by doing the same steps. Go up to the Architecture tab, click on the down arrow, and select Roof Gutter. And then begin to click on the edges of the roof. You'll notice that when the two different profile shapes, the two different gutters come together, they'll clean up at their corners. And that'll do that pretty much regardless of the angle. So you could have a 45 degree angle, a 30 degree angle, as long as they're still at the same elevation. Let's spin this around by holding down the Shift key and then the wheel and the mouse, or just by clicking on a corner of the view cube, and then continue to place the gutter all the way around our structure. I'll select back on the Architecture tab again. It looks like I'm still inside of the gutter command. If I hadn't been, I could have come up here, clicked, and then started the gutter command. Click, and then click again. By the way, if you ever move to a different tab on the ribbon when you're in the middle of a command, just look for the color green. If you select on the color green, you'll get back to that spot on the ribbon where your command is located. Now I'll hit the escape key a couple of times on the keyboard to get out of the gutter command and zoom out. And now we can see that we have this gutter going all the way around the perimeter of our roof.